Hey internet, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming a haul video. I picked up a few items from JetPens, which is one of my favorite stationery shops online. They sell a huge range of stationery. The only downside is shipping to Australia is always really painful. But for anyone living in Australia or really in any country, if you do want to see how much shipping will be um, if you order off JetPens, then what I recommend you do is you go onto JetPens, add all the things that you want to buy, and then just do estimated shipping or check shipping in the checkout section like they have a little section where you can add in your postcode and country and state and then it kind of works out what they think the shipping will be and for the most part it's always been pretty accurate for me and that will give you an idea so without further ado let's get into the whole video okay so the first thing i ordered were these uni pens i think these are pretty new i saw them in the new section in jet pens omit ever fine um, and basically it's just the set of fine liners which you can, still can't really see them. Oh, there you go. You can kind of see them here. And they, I think they, from what I can tell, they write similar to normal fine liners except they don't have that entire felt tip section that always like stuffs up for me if I use them too often. Um, I feel like it hardens and then it's just not as smooth and inky anymore. I'm not going to test them out in this video. I think I might actually film a separate video where I'll go through every single color, but I also want to play with them just a little bit so I can kind of give you a bit of feedback about, um, bleed through, um, and all sorts of other stuff. So hopefully that will be in a video soon. So most of the other things I've picked up are very boring. <laughs> They're mostly just refills or trying a few random pens here and there or replacements because I've used up whatever I have so yeah that was the most interesting thing I think um, I picked up these tabs for the Jibun Techo um, I think I filmed the Jibun Techo comparison a couple weeks ago now or I released it a couple weeks ago and so I wanted to put in a few tabs so that I could actually get into using it and make it a little bit easier to use I know a lot of the journals have those bookmarks those like ribbon bookmarks but I don't find them as useful like I don't lean on them because it's just not intuitive for me to go pick up the ribbon and then flip to the page. I tend to love using tabs instead. Um, huge fan of tabs, so pick these up. And then I picked up for some Tombow Furunosuke pens. Um, one is soft, one is hard. I already have, I think, the hard one, which I use a lot, like heavily for bullet journaling. Um, but it's starting to run a little bit dry, so I thought I'd replace it and I thought I'd try the soft one or the other one that I don't have. Now I just can't remember. And then I picked up, oh, picked up some refills. Again, I said this is going to be the boring part of the haul. Um, these are just the whiteout tapes that you get for the uh, Tombow Mono 2 way um, tape pen. This thing here. Um, yeah, Tombow Mono 2 way correction tape. Um, one side has an eraser, one side has the tape. I use this in every spread for my Erin Condren planners, so um, this is the last tape I have, and I'm pretty sure it's about to run out because I don't know if you can see that's like it. That's the last bit, so it's almost done. So I picked up some extras to refill them. Um, more refills. My Pilot G2 pen. So I have one on my desk and then one in my backpack that I take to work. And the one in my backpack is pretty much running dry. There's a little bit of ink left. But what I notice is that when you get to the end of life for these or the Muji gel pens, um, they start to become a lot less inky and they become a lot more scratchy and um, the lines are not as thick anymore. They really thin out and it's just like it's not a big deal. You can still write but if you're doing bullet journaling or journaling or anything it looks really inconsistent because it looks like I'm using a different pen. So I decided to get the refills. I love that I can do refills and I don't have to buy the whole pen itself all over again. I don't know if the Tombow Furunosuke pens have refills. I didn't see any. I wish they did because that would have been so much, I don't know, more environmentally friendly I guess. Um, I also got some replacement erasers for the Tombow Mono 2 way. I've been using this and it's so good. It's so easy. I love that it's just like right there so I don't need to have a separate eraser even though I tend to use this more for like fine details or little bits that I want to erase out but if I did like a whole spread in my bullet journal and I need to like erase the entire page then I'll just use like a standard proper eraser. I feel like that just gets the job done faster. Another one which I'm really excited to try. This is actually a correction pen like a white out pen and I already have one locally which I got from the office works Bic whiteout but what I liked about this one is that the tip is super fine whereas this is a little bit more thicker so let me open this up because I actually want to 
have a closer look. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, actually, the tip does kind of look similar to what I have. I'm just going to take the rubber nib off. So I don't know if you guys can tell, the tip actually is finer than the one that I have here. Let me show a comparison. Yeah, you can kind of see the difference. So I'm really excited to try using this and see what it's like. I'm going to zoom you guys in. I just want to try it out and see what it's like. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, you have to like press down for the, um, you can't even see it. Can you see it now? Yeah, you can kind of see it. Um, you have to press down in order to allow the liquid to flow through, but I think I'm going to really love using this because it is so fine and it can get into all the little details. And I figured I'd get a backup as well. Not a backup, but this is a refill for it because I kind of knew I was going to love it. So glad I did that. I got a set of the Sakura Micron pens, so you guys know that I use these obsessively for my bullet journals just because what I love about them is that they are waterproof so that I can like sketch out stuff with it and then I can watercolor over it and it doesn't bleed the ink whereas so many other pens like the Pilot G2 it bleeds so this is great for that um, and because I've used it to death for mine now the tip is hardened like I don't know how to explain it and I don't know if I'm the only one who experiences this because I don't see anyone else talk about it I'm just trying to find all right, here it is. So this is the one I currently use, um, and I can't, like, I don't know if it's actually visible. The tip is kind of flat on the top now, like, the very tip of it, whereas when I first got it, it was kind of, like, rounded, and now it's flat, which means I ca if I write, like, like this, I don't know how to, <laughs> and at an angle, the ink isn't even, and it's, like, scratchy, and it skips, so I have to literally write like this to get the ink to flow through, and I find that really annoying, because it's not comfortable to write like this the whole time so i just wish there was a way i don't know if it was the way i was using it or not but i just figured i'd replace it and i may as well get like a set of them because they're all different um widths so i can get more variation in my drawings and sketches but yeah i mean to be fair this has probably lasted me two and a half years now so i probably shouldn't complain to be honest so this is the interesting part of the haul for me i decided to get a bunch of new pens i'd kind of been just seeing what other bullet journal videos use um, on instagram on youtube or just anywhere and what pens other people use because i just i don't know i'm someone who just loves trying new pens so these are some of the new ones i'm trying so this one is actually not a pen this is like a blue pencil um, and the reason I got this is actually thanks to Violet. She uses a pink version to do a lot of sketching because she's she's constantly drawing new things, sketching stuff, and she recommends actually using colored pencils to do it rather than the gray leads because they erase a lot easier, but they blend into her paintings a lot better. Granted, maybe pink is probably the better one, but I love blue. That's my favorite color, so I thought I'd pick it up and give it a shot. I'll try that at the end of the video. So these two pens are pretty much very similar. They're both Pentel Energel pens, but they're from different families in the Energel pen range. This is like X gel, and I can't remember the name for this one. I'll have everything linked down below, so you'll be able to check it out if you want. I love the Pentel Energel line. It's amazing. I think I have two at the moment. Um, and I think they're all slightly different, just in how you hold them and how they work. But the main characteristic that I feel all the NGL pens share is that the ink is very free flow. Is that the ink is very free flowing, very easy to write with, doesn't skip, very inky. I don't know how to describe it other than just saying very satisfying to use. So I've been wanting to try pretty much all the NGL range. This particular one. Um, piqued my interest because at work we have a lot of designers, UX designers, um, and they love sketching, note taking and everything, and they're constantly using the thicker version um, of the Energel pens, so I just wanted to try one for myself. Um, I love to use the ones they have at work, but obviously they're not mine, so I can't take them. And then the last one I have here is from Kuretake. It is a, I think this is a lettering pen. Yeah, it's a lettering pen. I mean, Quite honestly, the main reason is that it has these adorable cats on it. So cute. I'll be right back to test out these pens. So I'm going to test out the pencil first and just see what that's like. Okay, it feels like a coloring pencil. You can barely see it. It's, it's quite soft. I'm not really sure how I'm going to go with sketching stuff with it, but I might give it a shot. Maybe not in my bullet journal, in one of my other journals that 
I don't really worry too much about what it looks like and see how I go. But it is very nice and easy to use, as in it's very comfortable. So I'm going to try the two Enagel pens. This one is the 0.3. Wow, it's about to write Zempop box. Because um, I'm used to writing that. Now I'll do jet pens. Oh wow, it feels really nice. Um, this one's a little thicker, it's 0.5. Definitely 0.5 writes a lot smoother than the 0.3. I know that generally fine tip pens tend to just come off a little scratchier. Um, I I think I love all pens to be honest. I used to be really, like, I used to have a really strong bias towards fine tip pens, but recently I've been really enjoying the thicker pens. I just don't like them when they get too thick to the point where my writing gets messy because I'm not very used to, like, my writing isn't big. I tend to enjoy writing small. So then the last one is this lettering pen, which is so cute, but I'm going to be honest, it doesn't feel very comfortable in the hands. I don't know... Yeah, you kind of have to put the backing here to, to really make it feel a lot more comfortable. On its own, it feels quite uncomfortable. Okay. Alright, the tip is actually quite hard. I don't know if that's by intent or whether I need to break it in. But with my history with felt tip pens, I really don't want to break anything in unless it's supposed to be. I mean, if you draw it to the side, you get thicker lines. Um, maybe it's... Uh, but yeah, if you go through the tip, it's like really fine. So maybe it's just kind of a how you use it. But I mean, it's so inky. I love it. And I can't fault the design. It's so cute. So if we just flip over, you can see... Oh no, it's pretty good. There's a little bit of shadow through for the 0.5 Enagel pen. But other than that actually really good. So that's pretty much everything for my whole video today. Um, as I mentioned, I'll try and link everything down below so that if you want to check it out yourself, you can. And that's pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching. This is Lena reporting from my room. Back to internet. Mm -hmm.